you for staying tuned to Sadhna, the Hindi Language Institute of South Africa, better known as the Hindi Shiksha Sang South Africa, has been the gateway for those seeking to learn a language that emerged thousands of years ago but is ever so relevant today, especially in engaging with the Hindu motherland, India. Amid much excitement, the HSS turned 75 recently and Sadhna had the honour of being a part of this momentous occasion. Let's take a look. India has a rich diversity of languages, where these languages are spoken even today. The promotion of these languages has progressed in numerous countries globally. In our hometown of South Africa, the Hindi Shiksha Sang promotes the Hindi language in all of its aspects. One may ask how? Well, let's find out. The Hindi Shiksha Sang is an organization that aspires to promote the Hindi language amongst the Indian communities in South Africa. But can you take me briefly through some of the history of this organization? So this organization has an illustrious history. It goes back 75 years, seeing that we are celebrating 75 years. Mm -hmm. And we have the good fortune of having visionaries in the form of Pandit Nardev Vedalanka, whose bust is behind me. Mm -hmm. And we, as a community, have been fortunate that he had the foresight to see that language unites. He was down here to set up a religious body, but saw the challenges that religion played and saw fit to bring people together through the form of language. Mm -hmm. So he decided that language was going to be where he'll focus his efforts and establish the Hindi Shiksha San. If we look at the, the length and breadth of our country, wherever our community is, we've got Hindi schools established, we've got dance classes, we've got um, music being, being taught. So the language has been spread through m many forms and what the organization has done is facilitate that. Over the years you've had things like our Stedfords develop uh, Hindi examinations which some people fear but then just the spreading of the language through, through music, through dance the, which is all linked to the language, sketches, speeches, debate contests, you name it. And I think perhaps 25 years ago, the coming in of our most successful project, Hindvani, catapulted Hindi to a different level. And more importantly, it gave us all a, commu a, a community voice. So that's the history, that's the road we've walked through, and we're looking forward to more exciting things. So you mentioned Hindvani. Now I know that Hindi Shiksha Sangh not only promotes the Hindi language, but it promotes our Indian culture through various mediums such as Hindwani. So talk to me more about this powerful radio station. So culture is never divorced from a language, right? Uh, Hindwani as a project for us was a means to propagate and promote the Hindi language, right? And when we set, uh, set uh, on, on bringing to, to fruition a broadcaster, mm -hmm. and we wondered how popular this would be. Mm -hmm. And we started off by saying, Design it such that it is the Hindi language that drives it. That it is the Hindi language that is at the center of it. And yes, we are realists in that very few of us can speak Hindi fluently. So we mixed it with, with a blend of Hindi and English. Mm -hmm. However, what was non-negotiable was that it's Hindustani music. Was that it would talk to the popular aspect and we intersperse it with things that people would love to hear and we're not hearing everywhere else. So what is the relevance of the HSS mandate from a local and global perspective? From a local perspective, we have the desire to keep that cultural link back to our roots. Right? That has come through from a, from a desire to, to link back to where our forefathers came from. But it has given us a different ident identity in this country. It's enabled us to actually keep the value system that has intertwined our society in the way it is. It's kept us on a, on a path of appreciating the true meaning of life. Because once you've understood your roots, you're able to respect and appreciate the, the diversity that exists in this country. So 
it's enabled us to do that. So the mandate was a very simple one, promotion of the Hindi language through academics, dance, drama, but internationally, it's to build that recognition back to our motherland, where our forefathers came from. We say that that is our motherland, but this is the land we've grown off in South Africa. How fortunate are we to have two mothers? And that's what I refer to as the unique identity. But then we have a third facet as Indians in South Africa. We are part of a community of indentured laborers who have had a very different history worldwide. We appreciate the uniqueness of our history, which not even those in India uh, can, can, can lay claim to. And that uniqueness has bound us together. How does the Hindi Shiksha Sang navigate towards the future in terms of its mandate? So the future is, is a very interesting one, right? Any language will only live if it is spoken, if it is learnt. And the speaking I use first because we can learn a language academically if we keep it confined to the academics. It's going to be difficult to sustain the language and, and the beauty that it has with it and the, the culture, cultural diversity that we believe we want. We need to find a way in which it has commercial reality. So I spoke about the academic side and the schools, where a child right in matric level can bring that as a, as a subject that counts towards their marks, as a subject that actually replaces something that could have been their baby, right? Suddenly our youth are interested. Suddenly we as families are keen for our children to, to, to get that, that, that A or that B that they can achieve. And this that little seed that gets sown. And we're grateful for the Department of Education have come on board in a big way. The second aspect is then creating economic interest. Now, we know for a fact that Bollywood movies are all the rage. Who doesn't watch a Bollywood movie these days? If they can't understand the language, they read it. But how much better if you can understand the language? But where does Bollywood go to produce its movies? They look for locations. And South Africa has been a fantastic location. Is that not an opportunity for us to teach the language, develop the people here, so that we can contribute to that industry? They are Where we might enough. not just have the, the, the main actors coming through, but let's start off small, let's start off basic, but at least having the language prepares people to be available. Mm -hmm. So if we try when we can, speak in Hindi, appreciate the language, educate each other, Languages are beautiful. Every single language has a bit of beauty in it. And if we embrace that which is our own, we'll see the beauty in us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for giving me your time. We really appreciate it. It was an honor talking to you. Namaste. You. Namaste. Language is not just a tool for communication, but rather it brings people and ties them together. The Hindi Shiksha Sang lives up to this statement. Hindi Basha Amar Rahe. Sadhguru Sivaya Subramanya Swami says that willpower is the fuel, but the ingredients are attention, concentration, meditation, contemplation, and samadhi. Follow us on all our social media platforms and spread the waves of sadhana into the world. Om Shanti.